Hi everyone, my name is Pranav Hajra. I am from West Bengal. I have done, done my BSc from Minnapur College Autonomous. Currently, I am I got selected from Integrated PhD program at IS Bangalore. In this video, today I am going to share my interview experience at IS Bangalore interview. So there was six professor in the panel. First professor asked me about my interesting topic. I told quantum mechanics, thermodynamics, statistical mechanics, and EMT and thermodynamics, EMT and math physics. So first professor asked me in a simple question in thermodynamics. So there was a question. What is the entropy of isothermal process? So as you know from isothermal process dq equal to du plus dw for isothermal process du tends to zero goes to zero and for d, dw equal to pdv and entropy s equal to dq by t So in from V1 to V2, dV by V into R, from R, ln V2 by V1. So that's it. This is the entropy. Then say they asked me about what is the physical significance of entropy. So as you know, entropy is the disorderness or chaotic if we change the system from one state to another state then entropy is always increased so that's it and then second question in they asked me in quantum mechanics so first question is in quantum mechanics is 1d box they asked me draw the wave function for 1d box it's a simple it's a ground state for n equal to 1 and it's a fast excited state for n equal to 2. Then they asked me what you in for ground state wave function where the probability is maximum. As you know for ground state wave function a by 2 probability is maximum. Then they asked they told me prove it. As you know for for wave function psi n equal to root under 2 by a sin n phi x by a. So for ground state psi 1 equal to root under 2 by a sin phi x by a. Now probability p equal to psi star psi so this is the gate 2 by a sine square pi x by a. So quality is maximum as you know for maxima d, d, dp by dx equal to 0. So 2 sine pi x by a. So this gate this for ground state
तो दिस गेट सो कॉल्ड इज मैक्सिम एट ए बाई टू देन सेकेंड क्वेश्चन फाइंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ ग्राउंड स्टेट एट एक्स एट ए स्मॉल इंटरवल एक्स टू एक्स प्लस डी एक्स सो in this uh, if we put this limit then we get the answer then they asked me what uh, if we change the length of the width of the potential then what is the change in probability as we know if you see that probability is proportional to 1 by a where a is the length of the barrier this is if this is the barrier 0 to a this is the a. probability is directly inversely proportional to the length of the barrier so then they asked me if we larger the well if we change the value of n for n tends to large then change in probability as you know from 1d infinite potential box if we increase the quantum state then it's a node and anti nodes will also increase so for n tends to large it goes to classical state and we for x to x plus del x its probability at, at a constant value something this okay then they asked me if we finite this potential suppose first it's a 1d infinite box this wave function is something like this for n equal to 1 but when if we finite this potential suppose this is the potential then its ground state ka something like this iska outside probability something rahega for n equal to 1 then for symmetric negative potential derive the wave function for symmetric potential If we apply Schrodinger equation in this state, Schrodinger equation is equal to minus h square square by 2 n. If we apply this Schrodinger equation, we get the wave function. Then, if we Draw energy state. It's a bound state, and if we take this line is the energy state. This is the unbound state. Then 
they asked me what is the stuttering state for unbound state as you know this is the wave function this is the plane wave function for everywhere this is the scattering state but uh, when it is occur this is occur only for unbound state then they asked me in this region minus a2 plus a region is wave function for wave function wave length is equal i said no because this is the potential for lambda equal to h by root in this region for particle particle ka jo kinetic energy hoga wo increase karega that's why wavelength decrease karega in this case so next then suppose an electron revolve around the sun then in this in this system what we can apply quantum or classical suppose this is the sun electron revolve around sun then what should we apply for study this system then we say then i say that if we study about electron motion then we can apply quantum mechanics if we quantum mechanics because as we know quantum electron is a plus a quantum particle so then they said me if we replace the electron in a r then what happen then i say classical we can apply classical mechanics so this is the question and then then they asked me when we apply quantum mechanics and when we apply classical mechanics suppose it's a when if we take a object it's a big object and if we take a in electron it's a classic quantum quantum particle it's a classical particle then we if we see it's a d bogli wavelength lambda p d then for a classical particle d bogli wavelength lambda is 1 h by p then if we then the result will be get it's a uh, around 10 to the minus 30 meter so it's a very small as compared to the interatomic distance this is in angstrom model but for quantum particle electron it's a, if you see lambda de bogli it's a comparable in angstrom order then we apply quantum mechanics we cannot apply here quantum mechanics for classical particle then they asked the same question in de bogli wavelength about de bogli wavelength then they asked me in mathematical physics for integration minus 3 to plus 3 x square cx delta of 3x plus 1 dx okay. it's a direct delta integration so 3x plus 1 equal to 0 x delta alpha So that's it today. Thank you, everyone.